Hello, in this lecture we'll talk about the story of the great poem, The Night in the Panther Skin. Actually, in a nutshell, the story is about the adventures of two knights. The first one is Tariel. Tariel is the hero of the poem, and with the nickname The Knight in the Panther Skin. And the second knight is Optandil, that is the commander of the Rab armies. And uh, in more detail, you can say that uh, the story can be divided into two parts. The first part is the search for Tariel, with the nickname The Knight in the Panther Skin. And the second part is the search for Tariel's beloved, the standard jump. In the first part, the search for Tariel, uh, one day of Tandil, the commander of the Arab armies challenges uh, King Osteban, that is the king of Arabia, to a hunting competition. And uh, after three days of shooting game, they encounter, actually they, they set, uh, they take, a, they took a break and uh, set under a tree and suddenly they saw a mysterious knight that is dressed uh, with a better skin a kind by a river. King Osteban uh, wanted to know who is the, the mysterious knight, so he sent uh, slaves to try to acknowledge him, but the mysterious knight reacts uh, he acted uh, violently and uh, killed all the servants, all the slaves that uh, came to encounter him and then disappeared. King Bostevan sent uh, parties all over the world in order to try to find the mysterious knight, but became disheartened when he failed. Then the daughter, the only daughter of King Osteban Tinatin, asks uh, from of Tandil to try to find the mysterious knight and in return he promised to marry him. Actually, Abtandil and Tinatin were in love with each other. So, Abtandil searches uh, the mysterious knight for two years and nine months until he finds him and the mysterious knight tells him that his name is Tariel and that he was the commander of the fleet of India and he also was in love with uh, King uh, Parsedan's daughter the king of uh, seven kingdoms of uh, India but uh, so he was in love with King Pasadena's daughter Nestanda Rajan but she was abducted by the demon king the king of the Kajis and from that moment he became very depressed and uh, a 
actually he was crying and he go to solitude to a wilderness and he was actually in a cave with uh, only one person that is a maiden her name was a smart and she was the servant of Nestan Darajan. So when Nathaniel heard uh, the story, he was very excited and he actually became a friend. He promised to, uh, he became a friend of, uh, of Tandil and he promises uh, of Tandil to help him to try and to help him to find uh, his beloved and the standard region. So that is the first part of the story. That is the search for Tariel. And in the second part of the story, the search of Tariel's beloved Nestan Darajan, uh, of Tandil Dariel and 300 soldiers uh, go to the country of the Kajis. Actually, the country of the Kajis is a fortress and uh, it is actually impossible to invent them and uh, the Kajis are also very strong fighters so it is actually impossible to rescue Nestan because of the fact that Nestan was kept in a high rise uh, in the top of a high rise building and uh, 24 hours a day, guards secure the prison and prevent uh, from, in order to prevent from Nestan to escape or also to prevent a rescue by others. So, actually, often the Pridon <coughs> and Tamiel with the 300 soldiers did the unthinkable and uh, succeeded to rescue a star from her captivity by the countries and the story ends in an happy ending in the sense that after uh, Dean marries Tina Teen and Tariel there is his beloved Nestan Darajan. In the next step, I will tell you the story in more detail. As I already mentioned before, the story can be divided into two parts. The first part is uh, of Tandil's quest, quest for Tariel, the titular The Knight in the Panther Skin. And the second part is of Tandil's quest from the standard young career slav. So in the first part, the search for Tariel, the king of Arabia, Osteban, has no sons and confers the kingship and confers the kingship on his only daughter, the beautiful and wise Tinatin. She has a tender affection for Aftandil the knight and commander-in-chief of Rusteran armies. One day, Aftandil challenges King Rusteran to a hunting competition. After three days of shooting game, they encounter a knight crying by a river. He is dressed in a panther skin and kills the, sla and kills the slaves sent by the king to contact him, then disappears. Osteban 
sends parties across the world to search for the mysterious knight, but becomes disheartened when he fails. Tinantin asks of Tandil to find the strange knight in three years, promising him an end in marriage in return. After two years and nine months of searching, Tandil finds the knight in the butter skin, hiding in a cave with only a maiden for company. His name is Tariel, son of King Saridan, who has the seventh kingdom of India. He had served as heir to King Parthedan, king of the other six kingdoms of India, for many years before falling in love with Parthedan's daughter, Nestanda Rajan. Tariel wages war with the Katavians to earn the favor of Nestan, but is dismayed to learn that she has already been promised to the Huamzian prince Horozem. Tariel couldn't bear the idea of her marriage, and at Nestan's request, he killed the Sudar. The sooner for them. He, uh, the princess was placed on a boat and set adrift on the seas. Despite Ariel's lengthy search for his love, he couldn't find her. Later, he met Muradin Pridon, ruler of Murazanzar, who told him that the stand was alive but left on a distance boat. Tariel retired to a cave to live in the wilderness with a smart, the former servant and messenger for Nestan. Moved by this story of Tandil promises his friendship and brotherhood to Tariel and agrees, he, and agrees to help him find his love Nestan Darajan. Abtandil returns home to Arabia and tells Tinatin the story of Tariel. Against King Mustavan's wishes, he returns to his new friend Tariel. So we finish with the first part of the story, that is to say, the search for Tariel, and the second part of the story is the search for Nestan's Nestan Darajan, Tariel's beloved. In the second part, Abtandil then leaves Tariel to go to the kingdom of Pridon, where he doesn't hear anything new about Nestan. Continuing his quest, he arrives in the city of Ulanshaw. He meets Patman, the wife of the chief Hussein, who falls in love with him. Of Tandil sensing she knows the fate of Nestan succumbs to Patman's seduction, she tells him she has been keeping Nestan at her place, and as Nestan was promised to the king's son, she helped her escape, but in her flight, Nestan was abducted by Kaji, the demon king. Abtantil then returned home to Pridon and to the cave of Tariel, and later all the three friends that is to say, of Tandil, Tariel, and Pridon, decide to go to the country of Kaji with an army of 300 men to find and deliver Nestan. When she is released, all return to Arabia, where King Rostevan forgives of Tandil his flight and breaking the king's order. They all celebrate the marriage of the latter, that is to say, of Tandil, with the king's only daughter, Tinatin. They then leave for India, where Tariel marries his love, Nestan. Pridon also returns to his homeland, to his homeland, Mulkazadzar, and the three friends remain happily with prosperity and generosity in their own respective realms. Okay? Thank you very much.